Uh, it's JSR versus Rose City Saint here in match number two. This is in the Group C bracket. Group C is Rose City Saint, JSR, Ryan Seven, and Nurm. JSR is getting a head start here. He's going to just take off uh, from where he paused the game. But just joking, he's not ready yet. <laughs> These... <laughs> I don't know why I found that so fun funny, but it was pretty funny. Because I didn't get it at first. All right. Give him the go-ahead. Uh, you missed the earlier race. I won't spoil it for you. Somebody won. Somebody lost. And uh, you can check out the video on demand. They are almost all set to go. This game is a game that was made late in the Nintendo's life cycle. And, uh, yeah, it plays like one, too. If anybody has any extra money, it probably goes upwards of uh, $600 to $1,000 on eBay. And, uh, yeah, sure, absolutely. Joined by Buzz Thunder here in a second. I'm going to get JSR's audio up. I was laughing so hard before that I even forgot he told me that he has audio only. Hopefully that's a good mixture. We're in the first level here. It's the appetizer course. You always eat your appetizers in the garden. Bunch of angry hot dogs and carrots. It's a, it's a metaphor or euphemism or what have you. What is that? What is that term called? I don't know what it is, but here's our first boss, Popcorn Pete. JSR is going to see if he can beat him in a jiffy, and he does. And Rose City Saint is also quickly uh, quickly follows there. And they're both going to be off to stage number two here. Six total stages in all. Six total stages in all. We're in stage two right now. It is the soup course. Uh, it's being served in the dining room today. Of course, the, every soup course is uh, filled with pizza and flan. Or whatever that is. Game makes a lot of sense in its logic in terms of enemies, enemy types, the menu names of the levels, and where exactly the stage takes place. JSR takes a death here early. This means Rose City Saint is is not is not gonna take the lead. He's just a little bit behind. But that was the most exciting thing that happened so far in this tournament. JSR misses the elevator. Rose City Saint misses it as well. Takes the jumping approach to climbing the elevator. Hello. Hey, Larry, what's up? Hey, what's going on? There's a Discord issue today. Let me see if I can take your thing down. So I didn't know if you were going to be able to hear me. I can hear you okay. All right, nice. Uh, yeah, we're on stage two here. Uh, yeah, stage two is a, it's always a fun one. There's a lot of apples that uh, will uh, smack you in the top of the head, just like uh, what we saw happen to Rose City. Um, I'm still not entirely sure how they work. Uh, neither was Newton, obviously, and I don't know if that's a pun or not, but it certainly is a meme. And we're gonna we're gonna post plenty of pictures of Newton and apples uh, later on on Twitter. It's at um, dig underscore dream. I forget what it is. Dreams dig something like that. Uh yeah yeah. Dreams dig. <laughs> we need we do need a pun here. Uh, not a pun. We do need something to come up with. And uh, I forgot what it was called. Uh, what the term? Uh, what the situation was that called for it? But maybe it'll, it'll happen again. Uh, yeah, there's no. I, I was gonna write out a list of puns before I did something like this, but this kind of caught me by surprise. So uh, I'll try to. Uh, I'll see if I can get my fill of puns by the end of this. Get oh, my I appetite see. satisfied. Microwave Mick. Do you know these bosses have names? Uh, no. I read the instruction manual, but uh, I don't remember them having names. It's in the instruction manual as like a. Oh, by the way, in a paragraph. It doesn't, like, spell it out. It doesn't show a picture of them. It's just, like, here are the bosses, and it just names them. And oh, uh, wow. the microwave is Microwave Mick. The, uh, the, the popcorn guy is Popcorn Pete. 
Okay, so are they all alliterative uh, monikers? Uh, no, but they're probably well, no, because it's Patty O'Burger is the only one that's not, but the other the other ones are. Oh well, that's a, that's not bad though, Patty O'Burger. The so so uh, it's a female burger. <laughs> I, yeah, uh, well, yeah, I guess so. I mean, I think I guess Patty is universal. That's true. Yeah, I guess that could be a, a male name. Uh, frozen Fritta is uh, sexy ice cream. Yeah, I'm, I'm convinced that that's a uh, that's just a drag uh, ice cream, but uh, that's just my theory. Well, well, we'll discuss that possibility as soon as we get there. Did you know that in the menu? Obviously, you know this because you played the game longer than I have. Uh, uh, yeah, a little bit. It spells out all the appetite, all the the courses as like the stage names. Yes, it does do that. But there's actually really stage names, and this is the salad course, and it's being served in the kitchen. Okay. And and it gets pretty good later on as Rose City Saint takes a death there to one of the uh, burners on the ground. Hey, let's uh, talk a little bit about the game here. What's the strategy here going forward in the kitchen? Uh, kitchen is a tricky level. The toasters, which you see, uh, uh, J, uh, JSR, J2SR. I, I don't even know the right order. I typed it in wrong. Uh, oh, you can say JSR it any way you want. JSR, um, you see him facing the toasters here. Those are one of the trickier enemies because they'll just spit out those, uh, those, uh, pieces of bread, uh, which are, uh, disproportionately small. Um, but again, we're not going to say anything bad about the, uh, production values of this game, are we? Well, I don't know if it's disproportionately small because it takes up, it's like the size of his head. And I don't know if I could find a piece of bread that's uh, the size of my head. Maybe like a Wonder Giant loaf or something, maybe? Uh... Well, I was thinking about the size of the toaster because it's almost like, it's like a quarter of that length of the toaster burner. So it just doesn't really make any sense. Yeah, it's the same argument. 50,000 points, by the way, is a free guy. I don't know if that's like every 25,000, every 10,000, or every 50,000. I know 000. that you, you get it after the first level, um, but I never really pay attention to exactly what the numbers are. So JSR passed it up before uh, Rose City Saints at it right now. He's going to go for the skip, and he doesn't get it. There's a little bit of a damage boost you can do on that platform. Yeah, that's one of the uh, one of the many speed running tricks uh, in this game. Well, I guess it's one of the few. Um, yeah, Rose missed it, and then, uh, like I said, gets hit by those those pesky bouncing pieces of bread. Yeah, probably my Which, second. Uh... Apparently they have eyes on them. I never really noticed that, but uh, I mean, all the food has eyes, so why wouldn't they put it on the little pieces of bread? It could be you know, like, like the the uh, the elements inside the uh, toaster, just searing that, singeing that piece of toast that way. You know, in a little bit of pattern. It doesn't need to be eyes. You know, you put yeah, that's yeah. That could just be yeah the uh, the red wires in there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we can we can discuss this. I mean, we can just log on to kwtf.net and uh, Buzz and I talk toasters every Sunday at 9 a.m. I, I, I really do think we should have a show like that. A variety show. I mean, listen, talking toasters for an hour sounds like fantastic. Oh, somebody would email Dig Shake and complain, though. <laughs> for sure. We're in the fourth stage here for JSR. And that yeah, is... This the... is a, yeah, saying this, this is a fast run. Sorry to step on you, Larry, there, but I was just saying there's not really a lot of time to discuss and things like that. Things just happen so quickly in this game if you have players that are actually going to be advancing through levels at the rate that both of these players are. Yeah, it's one of those things where uh, Roller Games was like this, where we're like, man, how the hell is everyone going to finish this in some sort of manageable time? And then, like a week into practice everyone's beating it in 16 to 20 minutes anyway and uh it seems yeah, like this game's like that yeah um but again that was uh that was intentional when i nominated this uh it was the same kind of thing with that it's just i think that fits the format perfectly yeah i mean initially everybody hates it say i don't like this game it's garbage then they do a little bit of safe state practice and everybody can beat it in under 20 minutes usually yeah even if you're bgt and joshy d you can do that uh, the, oh, have they have they completed it? I believe BGT has completed it and knocked down his time. Uh, by the way, the boss of Stage Three, Rose City Saint, just completed it. Uh, Willie Walk. Willie Walk. Okay. Yeah. Well, Willie. <laughs> That's so bad. Yeah, we can have a lot of fun with this game. <laughs> I, I'm convinced that you made all these names up, Larry. I, I may or may not have, but you'll never know. <laughs> 
Okay, so we have Patio Burger here for uh, JSR. Um, the, one of the trickier bosses, if you don't get the early hits on him, that bounces around, throws his uh, buns at you. Um, but it looks like he's doing okay. He missed the first two initial hits, but uh, great recovery there. It takes him out, no problem. Yeah, is there a spoon you can grab before that fight, or is this the last spoon in the stage where Rose City Saint is? Uh, yeah, that's the last one. Normally, the uh, the technique in this level is spoonless. You just you just go pan the whole time. Okay. So we're on the fifth stage here, and follow me here, Buzz. This might be a little bit hard to, to figure out. And screw that fork and fork to death uh, ratio is pretty high, and that might have been intentional. No, that that was not intentional because he came in there with uh, full health, I think. Oh, did he? Okay, I thought. Yeah. Okay, I thought maybe yeah, he took uh, that fork intentionally to die. You do want to, you do want to get hit to lose the fork as quickly as possible. However, um, yeah, he didn't. He didn't want to land in the spike pit. It knocked him back into the spikes, okay. which was not intentional. He wanted to lose the fork, but yeah, not the second part. Are spikes all death, or is it only one heart? Uh, that that is a death in that case. So, okay. Yeah, anytime you see a spike pit, those will be a, a full death. Um, uh, interestingly enough, on uh, I saw D-Pad Danny running this game, and uh, he he did something like that, fell into the spike pit, but actually was able to save himself. He called it a frame per perfect jump. So you can apparently, if you hit a jump on the right frame that you hit the spike pit with life left, you can jump out of it. I feel like that's something the big 20 people that are in our tournament uh, would know, and just the regular idiots like us who are practicing this game I uh, just wouldn't even know to do that. Uh, that yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how you would think, oh, yeah, I'm going to jump out of the spike pit. But, uh, yeah, I saw somebody do it, so that's the reason why I know. Yeah, I think that comes from knowledge sharing of the game and uh, trading notes, reading into task notes, stuff like that. You can figure stuff, something like stuff like that out. JSR looked like he went, was going to go for the plate and then didn't hit the jump. Um, this is stage five, like I said before. It's the meat level, the meat course, and uh, it's in the freezer, Buzz. Well, yeah, I mean, that's where you keep the meat if you want it to stay fresh uh, over a long period of time. Apparently, this restaurant's not doing very well, so they have to keep their meat frozen. They can't just sell it immediately. Yeah, well, I guess that, you know, if you want to include the lore of the game, uh, that would possibly make sense. Rose City, Rose City Saint is in uh, this stage. One of the harder jumps in the game, or just one of the hardest stages with jumping in the game, is right where JSR is right now. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit tricky because you have to figure out the pattern of these popsicles. Popsicles are, they suck. They they come up, they they nab you. But as you can see, he's waiting for that platform. Um, I don't have a problem doing that just because you don't want to risk, you know, jumping because there's so many spikes there that you can easily just die. So popsicles so better, suck. Better nice pun. Uh, yes, thank you. I, I, I told you I didn't have time to practice, but I've come up with like five on the go. Sexy ice cream time. Uh, yes, uh, may or may not be a female. I mean, who knows? I'm voting drag, but that's just me. Uh, Spoon Strategies didn't get the plate, but uh, does okay. Probably only a few seconds extra for doing the spoon instead of the plate strategy, so not it, bad. Between a spoon and plate is that like bombs and bark in uh wacky race and jsr is playing the slot machine what is he oh man what is he doing oh he wanted to get uh he wanted to get a life refill before dessert wow he, he, and he a, got it that's an interesting strategy and he got it he got three is there a way to manip manipulate that because that seems I, I don't know seems pretty I'm odd honestly. he tried it and got it yeah, there has to be, because that, that, that just reminds me of uh, Super Mario Bros. 2, where I know that I can get three cherries every time. That's pretty easy to, to line it up, but I don't know about this game. So maybe, slot, maybe you can. Slot Machine has four total prizes, uh, three chef hats, and you get a one-up, three dollar signs, and you get 10,000 points, three candies, and you get a uh, heart refill. Not a heart total heart refill, but one heart refill. And uh, if you get three lollipops, you get the full heart refill plus heart container uh, if you're not already at the maximum four. Yeah, a little suspicious that he got that on his first try. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I wasn't even uh, prepared to say that, but uh, he, uh, yeah, especially from him. Well, yeah, I've never, uh, I, I played it my first playthrough just because I didn't know any better, but uh, I haven't played it since.
And so, JSR is just walking through here. Yeah, he's on the dessert course uh, in the basement. Yeah, the, uh, those fish. Yeah, you can see uh, they'll give you fits, and uh, he he's, just he just did some curse words. And there's the worst jump in the game. Oh, ouch! You yes, almost he have did to fall victim. Yeah, you have to jump when your back foot is like almost ready to get off that platform. And it's... Yeah, the way I I look at the uh, the uh, the back tip of the uh, chef's hat, you know, the the dig shape style uh, chef's hat. Right. Uh, chef. When that when when that runs into the uh, the little black section at the end of that platform, that's that's what I use as a uh, as a visual aid. Rose City Saint melts frozen Freda. Nice. I know. We're gonna get good at this. <laughs> See if I if I tried to write it down. Or... <laughs> We're gonna sell the book afterwards. It's gonna be like twenty pages long. <laughs> twenty just puns. Of oh, just puns. <laughs> Just for sexy yeah. ice cream. Oh, yeah. By the way, I want to say JSR started this because uh, in IRC before, when he was done practicing, he said, all right, let's go. Ra he said, let's let's go race time. Uh, no, race time, Lego. And I'm oh, like, all right. Lego. I'm like, all right, cool. And he's like, get it? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then I, then I start laughing because I got it. But here's the final boss. No cool name for him. His name is just O-Dove. Yeah, I mean, I always want to say Odove, but we can call him Odove. Odove is again, probably I, better. I, he looks like a, uh, like a, uh, some type of horribly mutilated Waluigi. Waluigi um, is the preferred uh, statement in the, um, I don't know where I read this, but he's also like uh, Snidely from uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Okay, yeah, he's, well, you know when you say wacky races, you can kind of yeah. be that kind of guy with purple skin. Oddly enough, I, JSR, I think, took the intentional death there, just so he didn't get too far into that fight. Uh, I see. Not a not a terrible idea. A couple of uh, that's a good strategy in this game is to take that death early. But uh, that's the uh, the worst part of the game, where you just have to sit there and listen to Odo say a couple of uh, I don't know whatever he says, some stupid things before you take him out and, and he... throw eggs at the balloon, and uh, there you have it. Yeah, it was uh, it was a great race. From it is our time to beat so far in the tournament. Uh, time of sixteen minutes and uh, sixteen minutes and twenty nine seconds for JSR. Uh, he'll move on to one and zero. Rose City Saint will fall to zero and one. And Nurem and Ryan Seven are also in the uh, same bracket that Rose City Saints in and JSR. Yeah, I'll have to take a look. We had a race just earlier. Um... I didn't see that one. I'll have to go back and watch the VOD of that one. Don't spoil it for me. No, I'm trying to keep it uh, nice and fresh for the fans. But uh, we'll see if we can get JSR go. here. Keep it fresh. Keep it in the uh, meat, meat level. Rose City Saint may not be frozen. That might have been my doing. Uh, he's not. Um, I see he's, uh, he's doing a little uh, buzz internet right now. Okay. No, a little if slide slideshow, but I, he's back now. If I minimize the game capture, it kind of just pauses. So I thought maybe I did that. And we're joined yeah. by JSR. JSR, good game. I I have to admit, I had a little bit of an unfair advantage. We were warmed up from all those puns in the IRC. Man, I was really feeling myself going in. We uh, I mean, we we waffled that, but you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face. Dude, as soon as I, I don't know what what happened, I think it was the whole uh, flip a table thing. I couldn't stop laughing, <laughs> and I turned on my mic at that same moment. I read that, and I started the stream with like five minutes of just silence, and you probably hear me giggling in the background. <laughs> but uh, no, good run. Take us through that. Uh, by the way, uh, before you take us through the whole run, let me ask the the two in questions I want first. You can give me a quick answer on this one. Intentional death okay. to the final boss. Uh, yes, very, okay. very intentional. Okay, second. I, I didn't want to end up with egg on my face, so. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, when you got the fork in, I think it was um, stage five, uh, and you fell backwards into the spikes, was that intentional as well? Um, semi. Uh, normally, I, I end up with uh, really bad art. Uh, my life is really low going into that stage. So if I have less than two hearts, I just take the death. Okay. Um. 
on your fort. So um, <laughs> I decided I was going to take the death there, but it was kind of an accident because I had full health and I can make it through with three hearts. So it was kind of like a, oh, well, I guess uh, I'll just take it. It's whatever. All right. So with that stuff uh, out of the way, the questions, why don't you go ahead and just take us through this run versus uh, your normal practice <clears throat> runs and all that. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, Rose City Saint. City GG, sir. Oh, thanks. Uh, I see you won, so good game to you. Uh, it it would have taken better than my PB to beat you, so I guess I don't feel too badly about that. Uh, good uh, good game. What's your PB, just out of curiosity? I don't my know anybody. It's somewhere in the, like, the high 17s, maybe. Good, though. Mid 17s. I, mean, I, I just PB'd uh, yesterday twice. I think my PB was 1709 until yesterday, and then uh, I, mean, I kind of was too tired to play Zelda, so I was like, I'll play Panic Restaurant. But, Excellent. Uh, JSR is going to just take us through his run uh, really quickly, then we'll get your side of the things. Um, sure. Or city. Go right ahead, JSR. This is the first time I've ever raced a game that I don't feel entirely proficient at, so I was a little nervous, <laughs> and it showed in, in level one. I made a lot of mistakes, but um, by the middle of the game, I was pretty calm, and... Uh, not to, I was kind of doing save strats on some of this stuff. Um, like the hamburger, I've been practicing the quick kill. And uh, I've gotten it to the point where I can get it. But at that point, I didn't want to make any mistakes. So I just, you know, even though I've got beef with that guy, I didn't want to, him to kick my buns. So, and, and I, I, you know, if you make too many risks in this game, your opponent will catch up. So, um, I, I'm sorry. I'm done. I got to stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh Oh, no, all in all, though, um, I'm glad to have gotten this this tournament off on the right foot. That doesn't and, sound uh, like a good pun. No, that wasn't a pun. <laughs> you got this tournament uh, started under a good, hearty, nutritional breakfast, something like that. It, it was it was an excellent start. There you go. That, yeah, yeah, I was I was gonna say yeah, you you know you were looking good in the beginning, and then it was over easy. <laughs> Well, if you don't do good in this, you end up panned by everybody who watches. So you have to. Make That's it that. Stop. <laughs> uh, the ch chat. <laughs> chat wants to know how you rigged the uh, slot machine. Oh, that's the first time I've ever won the slot machine. I was mashing start, and then I was like, "Fuck!" And then I was like, "Oh, sweet." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, I can curse on you, right? My bad. Uh, you know, um, whatever um edit that in post we'll be all right yeah well we're uh, good we're fine we're live pal but we're, we're fine <laughs> uh no but no we we thought you maybe did it intentionally especially since the result then we're like wait a second he, does he know how to fix the slot machine and did he get I buzzes think like I, yeah i think we figured out the manipulation for the slots finally it's mash start and then say fuck and that's how you win it's exactly the manipulation it's <laughs> rng dependent but it's also frame perfect <laughs> that sounds uh that sounds good there's a uh, one spot though where um and, and we'll we'll segue into rose city saint for this one there's one spot in the st stage five i believe it is uh where you can do the skip like a damage boost skip and i never see you go for that jsr do you uh like just to take a page i that a dragon warrior uh randomizer post-game interview playbook uh what the hell's wrong with you, you know how to do that or not I actually do not have any idea what you're talking okay. about. Okay. Uh, there's the there's the area where you're jumping up on the left side of the screen. You're going up the ladders and the toasters are there. There's uh -huh. the one where you jump over a blue box and then jump to the side and then kind of climb up and then jump to the left. Uh, where a toaster above you is also shooting toast down at you that you can't see off screen. You can take a boot damage boost there. And actually get on top of the ledge. And Rose City Saint tried it. And Puke 7 actually did it earlier on. And we were talking about, like, it seems like the people in the Big 2 practice, the Big 20, know this kind of stuff. And it just seems like regular people, everyday folk like me, uh, don't. You really didn't know about that? I really didn't. Um, okay. When I when I first started learning this game, uh, I was actually preparing for the Big 20. I've decided since I'm not going to participate. But um, this what? was one of the first games because I knew it was going to be in the in this tournament that I started picking up and there's no, I didn't find any tutorials or anything about this game. I just old record, not the one he just did like yesterday, but the, the other one yeah. and uh, tried my best to emulate what he was doing. But I guess I missed some stuff. 
Yeah, there's one damage boost. Rose City Saint, how did you discover that uh, that boost? The damage boost? I learned it by watching Coach. I saw him do it on stream. He made it look completely effortless, and he explained that as you just jump and it goes, and I tried it, and I failed very, very badly. I have no idea really what the trick is. I've tried it maybe a dozen times, and I've never gotten it. Looked like you got knocked backwards instead of forward, so maybe it's in the direction you're facing when you jump. Yeah, that could be. Maybe next time I'll have to try facing the reverse direction. I, I really don't know. Uh, yeah, the the key is to have your back to the toaster, like your with your back up against the wall there, and you need to jump at the right time. It's uh, it honestly in in this format, it probably doesn't help that much because it might save a max of one or two seconds. I'm guessing. Gotcha. Yeah, but in a PB in a PB setting, you can uh. You can probably, uh, that's probably how you reach your PB and in, in race, you probably do want to go around. But take us through the rest of the run there for you. Was this your best time, you said, earlier? Uh, no, not really. I've, oh, had okay. a, I've had a time in the uh, maybe the mid, like maybe 1735 or something like that. So I've done a little bit better. Um, yeah, it was my first, uh, my first shit tournament. So I was a little bit nervous. Uh, plus, I, I'm, you know, it's no secret. I'm kind of attracted to the ice cream cone. So I get a little flummoxed when, <laughs> when I'm in the press. And so, as you can tell, like, if you look back, like, I got bopped around there pretty good. You know, minim minimum five-second loss, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, I still love you, Ice Cream. We can still do this. <laughs> this is – it's worth debating because we played roller games, and then we debated, like, what the – like, because the hot flash chick in roller games is pretty sexy for an eight bit, uh, for an eight bit, uh, sexy ice cream might be up there too. Uh, I don't know. Well, even, to... even if even if the ice cream turns me down, those carrots are nothing to sneeze at. You understand? <laughs> yeah, I was I was gonna say, man. Uh, yeah, if you like that, the roller games, you just get hypnotized by those hips. Really? Game, no man. kidding. I have to check that out sometime. Oh, for sure. I only saw bits and pieces, but you guys were playing it the first time around. I'll have to go back and check it out. I turned on puke. That's sevens. why everyone was falling in the water. That's why yeah, exactly. the water, they That's were just exactly. staring at her. They couldn't concentrate on the damn, on what they were doing. Well, they were like, I wonder what those would like look like wet. Uh, let's jump in the water. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when I turned Puke Seven stream on earlier for the first race, the first thing I see in chat was the carrots look like hookers. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> I'm like, we started. Tournament's underway. Uh, this is awesome. Oh man! Actually, uh, I'll, I'll I'll head out of the room. Um, but before I go, I just wanted to say thank you guys for putting on the tournament and for letting me participate this time around. And Rose City, thank you for the race. Um, oh yeah, you're cool. welcome. Good game, JSR. GG, sir. I'm hungry all of a sudden. I'm not sure why, so I'm gonna go get some food, you guys. But thank you very much. Uh, I'll catch the next race. What time's the next race, Larry? I uh, I believe. Thank thank you for the for the non-planned segue here. We got three more races later. They're on Puke 7's channel. That's twitch.tv slash puke and the number seven. It is at 11 p.m. Eastern time. Buzz Thunder versus Post-it Note Not Found. <laughs> at 11.30 p.m. Eastern time, it's Link 7's versus Choke Me, I Like It. And at midnight Eastern time, it's Buzz Thunder versus Choke Me, I Like It. This is a little round robin here. We got a little little menage at three-way uh, in the... <laughs> In the B group, in the upper deck, the the real players uh -oh. where, where the real players are, and uh, Joshy D and Ben Glass Tube and Choke Me I Like It are there too. <laughs> <laughs> so JSR, thank oh, you, boy. thank you for joining us, and uh, enjoy your lot, enjoy man. your food, man. Yes, sir. Rose City Saint, anything else? We cut you up there a few times. Anything else you want to talk about with your run? Um, no, it just makes me uncomfortable to play anything other than Zelda Two Randomizer. So I'll get used to it, though. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, listen. <laughs> It's not then really. Again, the Zelda 2 randomizer makes me uncomfortable too now. So, so we'll, we'll have to see how it goes. You just have to beat two people. And you don't. Yeah, yeah. I figure. I mean, I, I honestly don't have a good feel for this tournament yet or, or how my times are going to stack up. I don't want to be the ultimate loser. I'm not sure if my times are going to put me in that range or if I'm probably going to be safe from that humiliation. <laughs> you know, we'll see. Buzz, what do you think 1849 stacks up in the, the skill set of the people you've seen play so far? Um, I, I think that's a decent time because really every – it's really hard to gauge from what I've seen. I mean, uh, as far as like public display of learning this game, I think me and Coach are the only people who are outwardly like getting better time. So I don't think there's anything – I think a sub-20 is a solid time. So you're probably okay. 
Let's but go. It, it, Could it, you guys tell hard. me what the times were on the other race, uh, the the winning and losing times? Do you remember? Uh, uh, the lose. I want to spoil it for the people who who. Um, oh, oh, okay. Oh, one second. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll I'll post it in uh, Discord so I don't spoil it for for anybody watching now that may want to, and that Buzz is gonna watch back as well. So I don't want to. All right, sorry about that. Thanks, Larry. Yeah, no, no problem at all. It's a it's a valid question. But uh, but 18 is a I would say a good time. I would say like if you took the the average of the 16 people in the tournament, I would say maybe it's like seventh maybe overall. That well, I can I can live with that. Anything that keeps me away from the humiliation is just fine. Yeah, I, <laughs> well, try to improve on that. I'm I'm playing to win, but th that that's comforting to hear. Yeah, we don't know where, how exactly the humiliation is gonna fall in the uh, in the cesspool. But Alan was 0-4 in the Zelda 2 randomizer tournament, and uh, and Ryan 7 has a, has a kid I want to punch, so probably it's going to be between them two. <laughs> yeah, I hear you on that, but uh, you know, careful picking a fight with her. I, she's she's fifty. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to get my ass kicked, but we're going to try it. <laughs> we're going to try it anyway. We're going to stream it IRL and see if uh, see if anybody watches. But uh, yeah, thanks for the race, uh, Rose City Saint. Thanks for. Thanks for doing it on, on day number one, and uh, good luck to you in the next two races. Sure, I'm enjoying participating. Thanks. No problem at all. Buzz, any final words here? Any, uh, what would we call this? The the after dinner mint? Uh, yeah, we could call this the coffee, the, uh, yeah, I don't know. Tea time with Buzz Thunder. Tea time with Buzz Thunder, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've had my fill, honestly. No, I, no, I haven't. That was just the, uh, God, I, sorry. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to. Uh, I've got a uh, a double serving coming up later, so I'm ready. Yeah, it's like a like you're gonna have a you're gonna have a like a, a course, a race, and then you're gonna have like an intermezzo in the middle where you're gonna take a break for a little while. Then you're gonna have another uh, another dish right after that. It's gonna be a good night. Yeah, break. yeah, basically, it should be all right. All right, well, just don't look at the ice cream. She's spoken for. <laughs> ice cream. That's spoken all right. for. Uh, I don't think Buzz is a big fan of the ice cream. You can listen to the restream to find out why. But Buzz, <laughs> thanks for thanks for joining me. Uh, oh yeah, 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 I remember that. <laughs> thanks for having me. All right, guys, and you can go to two 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 two. two. As I pull it up right there, you can go to the challenge page, challenge with an O dot com slash s h i t zero three. And you can uh, check out all of our results, schedule, information, rules, and uh, maybe even some information on how to apply for next season in case we have any dropouts or plans to expand. But until then, make sure you join Puke 7 tonight at 11 p.m. That's in an hour and a half, and there's going to be a triple header on his stream. So thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you then.